The HJJCC, as we are affectionately known as, was founded over 60 years ago as a community service organization and focused on sharing the Japanese culture with the community. Our membership is comprised of men and women between the ages of 21 to 40 of all different ethnic backgrounds and professions. Some of the programs the HJGC offers to its members are volunteering with other nonprofit organizations and community service groups, provide opportunities for young professionals to network and participate in business-related issues through the Young Business Roundtable, and create and build lasting friendships with our sister chapters in Japan through the CBF Goodwill Tour and International Relations Program. The Cherry Blossom Festival is something that celebrates Japanese culture and as well as our community in Hawaii and it's something that's been going on for 59 years now. It's such a tradition, it stems back to the first Queen Violet Naomi and since then it's been something to really celebrate leadership among young women, it's something to help us learn more about our Japanese culture and heritage and it's also something that's a really big part of our community and the Cherry Blossom Festival every year is something I think that everybody looks forward to coming up. Being Queen has been a really great job. It's meant just being a representative of the Junior Chamber of Commerce. We've been able to travel to many different places. We went to Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Japan. And we've been able to really spread what we are in Hawaii to these different places, and that's been great as well. We have sponsors from Japan that sponsored the Cherry Blossom Festival and we go to Japan to thank our sponsors with the new court members and as well as for the court members to understand Japan and see Japan and definitely to interact with the other JC members and so we as a Goodwill Tour go out to, to say thank you, to keep our relations going and to, to meet everybody. When we host our JC members from Japan, we like to reciprocate the hospitality that they have given us to show them Honolulu, Hawaii, um, everything else that we can offer here on this island. We also host visits to the mayor's and the governor's office with our Japanese Junior Chamber members. It's just like when we go over to Japan, we visit their mayors and governors as well. And so it's kind of like a reciprocation. Last year we helped organizations such as like the Waikiki Community Center, we helped them with their annual gala. So that helps them raise money so that, that they can continue to provide all the services that they do to the community. We helped the American Heart Association with their Heart Walk, which they do every August. We did the blood drives, of course. With all three blood drives that we did, we raised about 100 plus pints. So that means we saved about 300 lives. I guess the best thing for me was that everyone that came was so eager to help. If they had nothing to do, they're like, what can I do? What can I do to help? And I think that was what stuck in my mind because it just shows the type of members that we have and the type of people that are in this organization. The Honolulu Japanese Junior Chamber of Commerce is all about not only giving back to the communities through programs such as community service and the Cherry Blossom Festival, but it's also about professional development and again personal development for our members. We want to give them an opportunity, a venue to reach out to other members who have already reached success in their careers. We've had former speakers such as Robin Campagnano, Hawaii AIG former president. We've had former chief economist for Bank of Hawaii, Paul Brubaker, as well as congressman for Hawaii, Ed Case. The biggest event that we put on is the Cherry Blossom Festival, but the other events that we put on to our membership, we want to be able to provide these events at minimal cost to our membership. So one thing that we did throughout the past fiscal year was create a fundraising committee. One of the first events that we did for fundraising this year was partnering with the Wedding Cafe for an event called Divas Doing Good. The Wedding Cafe puts on a fundraising event every year and what it does is it raises money for nonprofit organizations. It's in its third year, we've been fortunate to be the third recipient of that event. Despite the economic hardships that we all face around the world, 
I think we have a very solid board of directors this year and I think their mission has been to still perpetuate the Japanese culture but to also engage the community more visibly. They're off to a good start so I can see our organization hopefully going into the 100th anniversary 